I'm Richard Neowin. Today we're talking about Windows 10 for PCs build 14328. So they released a PC build and a mobile build today. Um, same build number. Now there's really nothing new in the mobile build. Maybe a couple bug fixes. If I find it, um, enough to make a video about, I will. Not planning on it right now because there's really just nothing. Um, so this is 14328. The last mobile build was 14327, available two days ago. So there, there's really nothing new in it. So there's a lot new in 14.3.28 uh, for PCs. Um, so we're going to focus on the, the Ink workspace here, Windows Ink, all that new stuff, because there is quite a bit just in that. And there's so much in this build that I'm going to split it up <laughs> over a few videos. So what it's likely going to be, there's, there's probably going to be this one, Windows Ink. There's probably going to be one about um, maybe Cortana and Action Center improvements and then maybe a video for just everything else, or just a really long video that covers everything. I should probably do one of those too. There's just there, there's gonna be quite a bit. Um, so let's dive into Windows Ink. Okay, so as we know, this build has something called Ink Workspace, right? So I thought this was gonna be a, um, a certain app. As we can see, by the way, we do have a new start menu here, um, but there's no Ink Workspace app. So I looked into it and it's this icon down here that opens up the Windows Ink Workspace. Now that icon shouldn't be there. This is a Surface Pro and this icon is only supposed to show up by default if you, if you have an active pen that pairs with your computer. Now the Surface Pro 1 and 2 had a Wacom pen. There's nothing, there's nothing paired there. And what you should have to do if you don't have a pen that's actually paired with your with your computer, you should have to right click on the taskbar and then and then uh, check off show uh, Windows Ink Workspace button. So my Surface Pro had it on by default, yours might not, and if you want to try it, that's how you activate it. Okay, so we start with sticky notes at the top, and this, as you can see, it's not your sticky notes that you're used to. This is actually a UWP app, um, which, which is a little frustrating uh, since the background is blurred out, and if we write something on here, we'll just say, I know my handwriting is terrible. Meet me tomorrow. All right, so, um, they, by the way, at build, they, the, um, this thing would turn into a link. It's not doing that, and that feature is coming in the coming months. All right, so we can we can change the color of our notes here and stuff, which which is nice and all. Um, it's It's... Not that exciting, and when you close it, you're back to your regular screen. So there's nothing actually sticky about these notes, right? But we we do have the old sticky notes here, um, and this is the old one, the desktop app. So we can see that the pen works here too, but um, it actually sticks to your screen like the sticky note that we all know and love. Uh, so it's... I'm I'm sure it'll it'll get better. There's features coming. I mean, it's it's the fast ring. This is the first time it's being announced, so I I think it's great. Um, but it's nice that you'll be able to set Cortana reminders with it. I'm I'm pretty excited about all this stuff actually. So um, here's Sketchpad. So this is basically where you just draw, and um, you know I'm sure I can make a whole video about this. There's the digital ruler that we all that we all knew about when um at builds. So we could use this to draw a straight line here. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so there's no uh, digital protractor as far as I know, but uh, yeah, cool. So anyway, um, we could use it to share. We could share it to Twitter if I had the Twitter app on here, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, lots of cool stuff there. Let's go back. And then there's um, Screen Sketch, which allows you to take a screenshot and draw on it. So that's a feature that's actually on the Galaxy Note um, well, it has been on the Galaxy Note for, for some time. Um, and it's a good feature because there are times when you just, you need to write on the screen. It's something that, um, um, it's real. this is really all building on stuff that they thought about in Edge where you can write on web pages. And, you know, it makes sense. You might want to write on a web page. If it would just let me here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you might want to write on a web page. But, well, what if you want to write on something else? You should be able to. You have a computer that has a pen. You should be able to write to to write on stuff. It just it just makes sense, and it's um it's a nice feature. So as you can see, recently used Edge here. Um, you can check for pen apps in the store, right? And by the way, there are other pen features coming up here, right? So one feature that 
that I'm particularly looking forward to is is marking up maps. As we can see, um, they're in your recently used. They showed it off at build, but it's it's just not in this in this build just yet. Um, so if we use it to open maps, we could do that here. Um, you can actually write on maps, which obviously I can't do that right now. And um, the option for it doesn't seem to be here. It wasn't in their in their notes at all. Um, and obviously, I could also use the ink workspace to to do a screen sketch, and I can write on a map and just go like that. But um, you won't have to. You'll actually be able to write on the map. And what's really cool about that is if you have, say, a Windows Phone, you'll be able to open up that map, and your notes will still be on it, which is really cool. Um, also, the Photos app, you'll be able to write on stuff. And really, it's just about being able to use that pen anywhere rather than just in Edge or just in Drawing as because there really are other uses for this. And um, it's it's a lot of really cool stuff, and, and it's just a lot of common sense stuff. For instance, I mean, writing a date in sticky notes. Why doesn't that date just turn into a link so you can click on it and set a reminder in Cortana? Now you can. All right, so that's about it for Windows Ink. It's a lot of... It's a lot of cool stuff. There's um, and if you're on the fast ring, check it out because it's it's fun and it's useful. Because I, you know, this is something that that got me attracted. It's the first thing that got me attracted to the um, Surface Pro three and later the Galaxy Note five, and it's just that that you can just take notes however you want. Um, Surface Pro three, it was just that you can click the top of the pen. And it'll open one note and you can just start writing down notes. And, and with the Note 5, it was that you can just pop the pen out and start taking notes. Um, and they just have these really great note-taking features, like this screen sketch, where you can just take a screenshot and just start writing on it. And it's it's all very useful if you, if you, if you use your computer to be productive. I know a lot of people don't, and that's no insult, because a lot of people just use their, their computer to... to to check Facebook and email, and that's fine, but um, this will allow you to do more. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich from Neowin. Have a great night.